Hello flutes and welcome to our next lesson in band which would be the first five notes. In this lesson we're going to review how to hold the flute, what we need to do to make a sound on the flute, and then the first five notes from your lesson book. So let's review how to hold the flute. Let's start with our left hand. We take our left thumb and you'll see in the back of the flute there are two keys here. One that's uh, longer and one that's more curved like a hook. We're going to put our left thumb on the longer flat one right here. That's where our left thumb goes. Then in order of our fingers, our first finger, point of finger, skip one, place down on a key. So we've skipped the first key, placed it on the second. Our next finger, we're going to skip again, then place. So as you can see, skip, place, skip, Place. And then our third finger, our ring finger, goes on the key right next to our middle finger. And our pinky stays uh, above our little like teardrop hook shape key here. We don't press this one down. We just rest our pinky on it or we leave our pinky in the air just slightly above it. Then on our right hand, uh, let's go pinky first. Pinky's up because we're fancy. Our pinky goes on our foot joint, this key right here. And then ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger in order in a row, thumb underneath supporting the flute. So we would squeeze all those keys down if you want. Uh, that's how we hold our flute. Remember, sitting up straight, feet flat in front of us to make a sound on the flute. Make sure we have the hole of the head joint where the mouth plate is. The hole goes in the middle of our mouth. And then we roll down. We roll the flute down underneath our bottom lip. And then we use a small hole by going ooh, and then we blow across the hole like a soda bottle top. And that's me, I'm pressing, just squeezing all my fingers down, except for my left pinky, and that's the sound I would make. Ooh, middle, roll down. Remember, we don't blow into the hole. No sound comes out. Put the hole in the middle of your mouth. Roll down, small hole by going ooh, and then two. <laughs> Blowing across the hole like a soda bottle is how we make a sound on the flute. Now let's go over our first five notes we would learn in our lesson book. The first note we would learn is F. To play an F, here are the fingers we need to press down. Left thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger. So entire left hand's pressed down, except the pinky. And then pinky in our right hand, first finger in our right hand. I like to call this uh, like our bunny hand when we play F, because we have our two middle fingers up, like it's a little bunny hopping by. So pinky and first finger pressed down, our two middle fingers lifted up. Here's F. Left thumb, first three fingers, one, two, three. First finger, pinky. Here's what F sounds like. Small hole, fast air. If you don't use small hole, fast air, you might get a low note out. So you make the hole a bit smaller, ooh, and then fast air, like you're blowing out birthday candles. Uh, we compare the fast air to blowing out birthday candles, or let's see if you have like um, a hot drink in front of you, hot chocolate, or like a hot bowl of soup, and you want to cool it off. That fast air is the kind of air you need that you would have that cool air to blow uh, uh, to cool down that hot chocolate or even hot soup. Small hole, fast air, middle, roll down, fingers. I'm going to play F as a whole note now. Here we go. One, two, whole note, go. And remember that a whole note is four beats. Here's four ta's. Four ta's on F. One, two, four ta's, go. And then finally, here's F as a whole note. One, two, four beats, go. 
The second note we would learn is called E flat. To play E flat, our left hand stays the same. We're just thumb pressing down that key. First finger, second finger, third finger. Um, sorry, no first finger. So thumb, lift your first finger up, second and third finger down. That's what your left hand would look like. Thumb, second, third, pinky and first finger up. One, two, three, pinky in our right hand. So the entire right hand's pressed down. One, two, three, pinky. And then our left hand, it's thumb, no first finger, second and third, no pinky. Here's what E flat sounds like, small hole, fast air. Let's play E flat as a whole note, four beats long. One, two, four beats go. And then now let's play four ta's. One, two, four ta's go. Fantastic. Let's go play another whole note. E flat, four beats long. One, two, ready, and go. Fantastic. Let's go to our next note we would learn. Third note we would learn is D. Going to D from E flat is so easy, flutes. All we need to do is just lift up our right pinky. Right pinky goes up. Every other finger stays the same. Thumb, first finger up. Two, three. Pinky up. One, two, three. Pinky up. Here's how we play D. Here's what D sounds like. Small hole, fast air. Ready and go. Let's play D as a whole note. One, two. Whole note, go. Let's play four ta's. One, two, ready, and go. Let's go play one more whole note, D. One, two, ready, and go. Fantastic. Let's go to our fourth note that we would learn, which is C. This might be one of the easiest notes to play on flute. It requires just two fingers. So to play a C, you're just going to press down your first finger and your right pinky. Every other finger doesn't press anything down. No thumb in the left hand, no fingers here, no fingers here. It's just your first finger, right? So remember, skip, finger, pinky. And you're like, well, how do I hold on to the flute? I barely have any fingers on it. You're actually going to hold the flute with your right thumb underneath, your first finger, your pinky, and believe it or not, this part of your first finger right here is going to hold the flute as well, including your jaw, your chin is going to hold the flute when you hold it against your face. So believe it or not, you have a few places providing support for your flute so you can keep it stable. Here's what C sounds like. Ready and go. Here's C as a whole note. One, two, whole note, go. And here's four ta's. One, two, four ta's, go. All right, let's play one more whole note, C. One, two, whole note, go. And we have one final note to go over, which is our B flat. This is our fifth note we would learn. To play, to play B flat, you need to press your left thumb down. First finger goes down. First finger in our right hand and our right pinky. So thumb, first finger, first finger, pinky. Everything else stays up. Here's what B flat sounds like. Ready and go. Now, when you get down to C and B flat, we don't need as fast air. If we use too fast of air when we play B flat, you'll get a high note. So we want a little bit slower air, a little bit more of an open hole to get B flat. But just a little bit slower. Here's what B flat sounds like as a whole note. One, two, whole note, go. And here's four ta's. One, two, 
Ready and go. And here's B flat as a whole note one more time. One, two, whole note go. Now one last thing we're going to do is we're going to go over each of the five notes again in order, starting from F, then E flat, D, C, and B flat. We're going to go from high to low, and then we'll go from low to high. I'm going to play each note as a whole note and put four beats of rest in between each note. So we're going to start on F, thumb, one, two, three, one, pinky. Let's play F for four beats. One, two, ready, and go. E flat, two, ready, and go. Down to D, lift your pinky up, go. Ready to C, first finger, pinky, go. Finally, B flat, here we go. Now let's go from B flat up to F. Remember B flat, thumbs pressed down, first finger, first finger, and pinky. Here we go, here's a B flat. One, two, B flat, go. Up to C now, ready, go. Switch to D now, ready, go. E flat, add your pinky, here we go. Switch to F now, ready, go. All right, flutes, those are our first five notes that we would learn in our lesson book. If you have any questions about the first five notes, please leave them in the comments or send me a message. Bye, flutes.